the side of Team Liquid against the Skarner. Very because if you, time for you. Yeah, if you look at these champions, every single one of these is a fine pull. He a doesn't go to the enemy Krugs. He goes to his oh. Raptor through the fan engine, and he finds it! There's no Spire here for the Skarner. You cannot fight without a Spire. Rip, little oh. Scorpion, I will see you later. It's first blood. Take that objective for now. Core JJ, some fancy feet, dodges the first couple skill shots. Oh, goes in. Here we go. Core JJ with the quickness, gonna be forcing the flash away from Wild Turtle. Like Smithy into the bottom lane, goes into the Rexy oh. Ultimate, and they chew through him. It's Double Lift grabbing the second kill of the game. And Double Lift even gets the last hit there as Rexy's Ultimate with the execution damage gets him low enough. The auto attack from Double Lift finishes off. And Smithy's not done. Nick Smithy has been marked though. Santorin could try to make some sort of a grab happen here. Instead, gonna be grabbing onto Jensen, looking to bring him back, but Jensen grabs the kill onto him instead. Wild Turtle now looking to find a revenge kill here. Throwing out the spells, but won't be able to grab the damage. Turtle Four. thrown up in the air, and there comes the damage. It's double lift. Sealing the deal. Working on grabbing that Cloud Drake here for themselves. Extra momentum, extra movement speed. Gonna be very important up against a team that has He's still a low health Aatrox. Trade the ults, he's gonna have to leave. X Smithy is here for the turret kill, and Team Liquid find another objective. For him to pull off that play is right now. This is the biggest impact moment before people have been able to purchase the QSSs. Secondary. Want them here quickly. Team Liquid not gonna go in for that one. Team he does get channeled. We'll see. Shelly already summoned up. The headbutt won't take it down, but it'll bring it damn close. And the auto attacks coming out from the rest of the team will do it. That's three turrets to 20 HP. Giving Team Liquid the opportunity to now rotate over towards the mid lane. Maybe collapse on FlyQuest here. FlyQuest do grab their first uh, power over the mid lane. Are oh, moving there in. we go. That's what you need to do right there. You yoink him out of his tunnel and drag him back into the waiting Great skill shot. But that's a huge play. Once again, FlyQuest, patience pays off for them. Partner worldwide. This item makes it much more difficult to make any sort of a play really happen. You need someone else on your team to make this the better of him there. Does take him very low. Impact wanted to go back to base, but should a fight break out? He has the TP also available. Core JJ going in. Santora going to be exploded by Jensen. You hate to see a Skarner get kited, huh, Captain Flowers? Oh, it's, it's a special pain in my heart, but it's an even greater pain to FlyQuest, who have lost their jungler, nearly lost their support. Oh, Fiber in from the side now, though. Smithy could potentially be in some trouble here. Jensen dashing away over the wall. Double have coming in, looking to find the damage. Foe Belter grabbed the kill onto Core JJ. Turtle barely getting himself away. Impact takes out JJ, and Viper will find the shutdown on the Double Lift. He's resurrected to the World Ender, but can FlyQuest find anything else? Health bars are low. It's two dead on each side. What a bloodbath there. And a few members left standing. Jensen might go for oh, it. Jensen's able to take him down, but he pays for it with his own life. Another one for one. And both teams are not pulling any punches here today. Yeah, he actually uses his flash to go for that one. Yeah, Jensen went over the back of the wall. They traded one for one. Core JJ oh, gets Core locked JJ up. pulled back into the team. Santorin finding that target. Get with some vision for him. 4,000 health, the control ward goes down, but it gets cleared out by FlyQuest. Now they just play the waiting game. Viper and Pobelts are trying to keep everybody away. Baron down to about 4K. Turtle looking to find the kill, and Smithy's out! FlyQuest could likely secure the Baron here for themselves. Impact trying to go in, keep them away from this one. If he can, Baron gonna be taken down with that. FlyQuest! Take it out! FlyQuest are right back in this game! FlyQuest with Fly Outside of their norm, now they're faced with a grouped up, tankier lineup that has the scaling marksman in the backside. Corky and Ezreal Poe coming through. Santorin and Viper on the front lines, threatening to run through. Impact has found the flank, though. They're trying to go in. It's Jensen going in as Impact comes in from behind with that flank. JJ going to be taken down. Double and grab the kill there instantly. However, Turtle's able to take down Core JJ. Poe out there dropped. It's Xpinty grabbing the shutdown, but he also falls. Viper's looking to go even further. A double kill over to Wild Turtle. Impact barely getting himself out. The wolves, the wolves are eating him. Viper got double lift again. <laughs> It's FlyQuest who win the fight. It's FlyQuest lacing up their boots and kicking down the front door of Team Liquid. Inhibitor turret is destroyed. Inhibitor will soon follow. And FlyQuest will stick around inside the Team Liquid base for a couple more. Jensen and Impact have to hold the line here. Two versus three against Santorin, Turtle, and Viper. Jensen tries to draw the play by some kind of time. Impact goes after Turtle. That's your big damage threat, but Impact's forced into the stasis. Mystic Shot will find the mark. Turtle jumps to the side. Impact really gets himself away, and Turtle's gonna be taken down. Core JJ grabs the kill credit, and FlyQuest has to retreat. Team Liquid have arrived. Jensen back out onto the field. They want to chase down another kill Viper gonna jump over the wall this is a big kill if they get it because not only do you kill Viper you waste the Guardian Angel and that is huge to not get oh, any value out of that item Santorin now in some trouble TP coming in Pope Belter makes his way into the fight
fight, and now it's Ix Smithy forced into the stasis. FlyQuest sees if they can find anything on the back end of the fight, but it's Pull Belter. Oh, never mind, Pull Belter has the package. All right, he gets himself away, but also worth noting, for those of you who aspire to play, play Skarner in solo, Viper ready to TP back. Impact also going to be ready to TP in. This smite fight can tell the story of the game. Oh, Phobia, oh, here we go, and now to Drake for all the marbles. It's going to be taken very low. Ix Smithy taken down now as well. Into the fight goes the slicing. Maelstrom Centaurin going to be exploded as Team Liquid find their fight. They're going to go right back into the Outer Dragon, and Ix Smithy's got the secure. Double is able to find the arrows, rattle them off left, right, and center. Viper has no ulti, but he's still got the Guardian Angel. It's one for zero so far. Ix Smithy tries to escape, but will he be able to get out of the line of fire of FlyQuest? They're looking to find some sort of follow-up damage, but it doesn't look like it'll go through. Team Liquid have an ocean Paul Belter here. He has to teleport in. Santorin still making his way over to the fight. Viper wants to go in and try to stop this one. World Ender in the middle. Baron going to be down to 4K. Impact taken low. Impact taken down. FlyQuest going after Team Liquid. Could this be your fight? It's double is taking around. Able to find so much damage with final hour. And he's taken down. The shutdown put it over to Paul Belter. Jensen can't get himself away for very long. FlyQuest have found themselves two big kills. Impact and double lift down. What is the call here? They Vin look to be pushing the mid lane. Mid lane is open. The exposed inhibitor is there. And with 40 seconds left on the vein, the double lift, that is the only one that can stop FlyQuest. They're looking to end it. Santorin still has ultimate as well. If Team Liquid try to defend this one, they have to respect how easy it could be for them to fall here. FlyQuest continue the push. They are four men strong versus one Nexus turret. Wild Turtle will provide the damage, putting auto attack after auto attack into the Nexus turrets. Paul Belter getting himself away. Core JJ going to be taken low. Turtle and Viper on the Nexus. Ladies and gentlemen, FlyQuest defeat Team Liquid! FlyQuest will deliver Team Liquid their second loss of the split. Off of the back of a Skarner, casted by Captain Flowers himself. One pull, one game. The entirety of that game's flow switched as soon as Santorin grabbed Core JJ and they immediately got the first Baron off of it. This champion does not have to pull the mid lane. He does not have to pull the AD carry. He has to pull someone at a point in the game where you can force something based off that number's advantage. And that is exactly how you showcase what Skarner is drafted for. FlyQuest played this game cool. They played this game collected. They played this game as a team that